Though I'm going through changes I don't have to worry Send my weakest times Your strength will be revealed Lord, I'm glad you're mine I'm going through changes Precious friend, are you in a situation where you are stuck, you are in a fix, you need a change. And the word of God declares in Daniel 2.21 that God can change the times and the seasons. He is the God of change. He wants to bring you into a change that will usher you into your next phase of your life. In this week's broadcast, Sam Nelham shows you how God can take you through a change that will bring you to a remarkable experience. Now, here is Sam. Hallelujah. Wow, what a pleasure. Uh, to be here today, welcome you again to this very live broadcast, and I'm excited to to be here with you this week. Amen. Man of God, it's so good to have you. I have one of the one of the, I think a mighty man of God. He's so used by God. He's an amazing. God has done God has done so many things, mighty things, too much that what that I mean. I think he's there with me there to share what you know, God's plan to bring change in your life. Amen. Amen. Well, let's pray. Father, we, we thank you. We love you. We give you all thanks. We give you all honor. You are worthy of praise. We pray, Father, that for your word have come forth, your souls and to God's and our friends out there, they will be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, back up again today. We're just showing you, you know, God, that God is a God of change. Now the question is, you know, why do we need change? You know, at times we get stuck in a mess or stuck in things or with a habit or an attitude or a condition in life that only a change can solve it. Amen. I think because change is constant everywhere, the climate changes, everything, nature, everything changes, the weather changes, everything undergoes change. So, so at times in your life, God desires to bring a specific change because of what He wants to do. In your life, so we see today as we see God today as the God of change. Let's see the scripture in Daniel 2 21. We see God as the God of change, nothing is permanent, amen. amen. Except God's grace and mercy, He says His mercy endures forever. Only God's mercy is permanent. Now, Daniel 2 21, it says, and here is Daniel talking about God. He says, and He, now verse 20 says, Daniel and said, and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his, the story one now, and he changes what the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. Now we see God. That is the Lord. You are you are a God that can change times. He can change seasons. And you know that often times we live in a time where it's like there will be hard times, there are different times, hard times, good times, bad times, ugly times. But the Bible says all of these times they can be changed. My God. <laughs> uh, this is really interesting because uh, when uh, we talk about change, I understand that first of all, mm. it's not uh, firstly my idea, it's mm. God's idea. It's God's idea. He wants me to change. He mm. wants to see change coming in my life. Mm. Because if we read carefully the scripture you just gave us, man of God, the Bible mm. says that He changes the times and seasons. Right. He wants to see change happening in our lives, mm. in my life. Which means I should not fear the situation I'm in to cause God have in mind a change that He wants to bring mm. toward me. And my responsibility is to embrace the change mm. that God wants to bring in my life. You know, because mm. there are some right now going through hard times. And they think that this time is forever. You know, at times you go through some things, you think it's even change, you think. But the Bible says God can change the times. He can say, please, are you listening to this broadcast and you're going through hard times and, and hard seasons and you think nothing can change? I tell you, the Bible says God changes the times and the seasons. And it just it just comes, it brings so much peace with it to know that what I'm going through is not powerful. Whether you're going through poverty or love or sickness, the Bible says God can change your times. He can change your seasons. He can give you up in financial crunch, economic meltdown, the seasons are all over the world. But the Bible says for God, He's a God of change. He can change your time and your seasons. Amen. Let's see the scripture again in, in Genesis. We see God as a God of change, the God who can initiate change. Genesis 8, verse number 20, 
grace given to Adam. Genesis 8, verse 22, that is. Amen. Amen. It says, as long as the earth remains, or while the earth remains, seed time and harvest time. These are different times, my brother. <laughs> seed time, harvest time, it's harvest rather, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall not cease. You get so, so that you're going through one, one particular time, doesn't make you think, oh, it's all the time. No, that was a night. There was a day, but I was in Psalm 30 verse 5. It says, weeping and just for the night. But what? But joy comes in the morning. So there was a night. There was a day. There was cold. There was heat. There was winter. There was, there was summer. There was sea time. There was harvest. So the truth is that the life is always on this both sides. Maybe, maybe you have sea time. It's not more than sea times. You have sea time or you are on, on, the, on the harvest. You are on sick, um, you are winter, you are cold. The right now we have winter here in the Ukraine, it's winter. But in Africa, it's, it's, it's summer all around. Yes, Amen. It's summer all around. So it's a change of seasons and times. So let's, let's always know that God is the God of change. And when it comes to your relationship with God, don't be static, don't be, it must be like this. No, my God. Yes, sir. And I'm uh, yeah. seeing this as a, I think, a problem of maintaining. Mm. Because sometimes when we are stuck of mentality, mentality. Yeah. Yeah. when we are stuck in a place, uh, seeing the problem, sometimes we forget the God who is able to change the problem. Mm. When we see the problem as as bigger than God, then that's a big problem. Mm. Because we have to see that the situation we are going through, the, the change that we need, our God is able mm. to bring that change. Because He decided that there is a, a time to sow and there is a time to reap. Uh, that's a fact of life. Mm -hmm. That means what you are going through right now, you know that there is a change to it. Mm -hmm. but, but the question is now, how am I going to enter into that mm -hmm. change? Mm -hmm. But the truth is that when you see God mm -hmm. as the God of change, that will make answer a lot of questions in our life. Because mm -hmm. oftentimes we come to God, we don't want to see God as God of change. Mm -hmm. We think He's orthodox, He's the mm -hmm. That's not true. Now, a lot of time, even though God is unchanging, the Bible says He's the same. Yesterday, today, he doesn't change. His nature, his faithfulness, he's a God that is faithful, he doesn't change. But the truth is, that, let me show you this, Malachi 3, 6, it says, I, the Lord, I change not. It's, 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 it's private. I don't change, and I will not change, and nothing will change me. In fact, Hebrews 6, I think verse 18, it says, Wherefore, by two immutable things, whereby it is impossible for God to lie or for God to change. So it is impossible. God is unchanging, but He can change things. He can change. I've seen God change people. I've seen a sinner talk to a saint. I've seen how, even in scripture, even in our days, we've seen people going through hard times. And we see God just transforming. God can change that circumstances. He can change your brother. He can change your life. He can change the situation. Whatever conditions you go through, it's not about God's change. Hallelujah. God can change it. Praise God. He can. He will change it. And I know that, you know, when I knew that God is a God of change, now I began to have a faith for change. Amen. I, I began to know that there's no change that will happen to me that will not be favorable to me. Because my God, now the Bible said in, in, in I think, Jeremiah, uh, the, 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 the 11th verse of the chapter, he says, I the Lord, he says, he says, he says God, God says, I know the thoughts I, I think towards you, thoughts of peace. Not of evil to give you a hope and expect end. So God says, I have a plan for you. Don't be afraid. So whatever change that comes to you, it will always bring you to the place of God's plan. My God, just say what I'm there. I want to see God as the God of change. Anything can change. I'm really liking this so much because uh, I have to really focus on God mm. because I see already what God is having on mind concerning my life. Mm. He wants me to change. He wants to see change happening. Mm. And more good, change, change, good change, change happening to me. Right. And all I have to do is to believe and be ready to embrace the change mm. that God is bringing in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I will tell you, the Bible says God can change the times. He can change the seasons. So whatever season you are in, maybe a, a rough season, a tough time, God can change it. The Bible says, as long as the earth remains, there will be still time, there will be harvest, there will be winter, there will be summer, 
There will be cold. There will be heat. Hope is a time. So whatever times we're in, don't give up on God. God can change your season and times. Hallelujah. Now, maybe you heard this broadcast, and you will not born again. You won't know this God of change. A God that can change your life. He can deliver you out of your wrong habits. Amen. Amen. I want to, I want to pray for you, and then lead you to Christ. Now I'm going to just pray. I want to pray with you. Amen. If uh, you know you've not received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, Amen. just say this word with me, Lord Jesus. Amen. I welcome you today in my life. Forgive my sins. I believe I'm receiving you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. You can be sure if you just pray this prayer with me. God is receiving you today, and you are a child of God. God bless you so much. Amen. As we leave, don't forget this. You are a blessing.